A top Hezbollah militant alleged to be behind a series of attacks on U.S., Israeli and Jewish targets has been assassinated. An Iranian government-owned television station said Imad Munia was killed by a car bomb in Syria. We're joined by Sam Risk, a Middle East conflict analyst from the Institute for Conflict Analysis and Resolution at George Mason University. Thank you for joining us. Can you tell us more about Imad Munia? Um, uh, thank you very much for having me. The deal, I think, with Ahmad Mughania is that uh, 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 part of his aura is being a shadowy figure who's often been named a ghost or a fox. Um, all we know about his uh, very old past is that perhaps uh, his parents went to Iran and he may have studied uh, under religious education there. Um, his name keeps popping up every five or ten years in association, um, at least in, um, in Western media, in association with bombings or attacks or things of the sort, like the ones you mentioned. Um, um, on uh, military uh, barracks, um, uh, marines in Beirut, and also on the two attacks in uh, Argentina, the Israeli embassy and the Jewish cultural center um, in the early 1990s. So, so part of the deal with him is that he's in fact a shadowy figure we don't know very much about. So what impact then will his death have on the Hezbollah? Well, clearly, this is one of those times where Hezbollah has actually claimed that, uh, um, in the obituary today on their television, claimed the martyrdom of uh, one of their own, Ahmad Mughaniya, uh, the Sheikh, the Hajj. Um, and as far as that, the continuation of that statement says is they will be bringing top people together uh, then to deliberate on what to do next. And unfortunately, it's not perhaps a matter of whether or not they will respond, but it's a matter of um, when and in what um, kind of form. This clearly adds to the tension um, in Lebanon particularly, but in the entire region, um, and uh, especially then with the calls from Israel saying, you know, this was a good thing for the cause of freedom and such. This antagonizes people even more. Mm -hmm. Now, so there is fear then of retaliation now, and you're saying the tensions are going to escalate? Um, clearly, the tensor, tensions are going to escalate, uh, regionally speaking, between uh, Lebanon and Israel, between Hezbollah and Israel. Um, at the same time, you also have to wonder how this will actually have an impact in Lebanon itself. Um, it is perhaps a coincidence, but maybe not, that um, his funeral will actually be tomorrow on February the 14th, uh, the third anniversary of the assassination of the former Prime Minister, Rafiq Hariri. There will be a big gathering tomorrow for him in the morning, and apparently uh, the funeral for Ahmad Mughaniya then will take place in the afternoon. Um, and mind you, these are two opposing um, sides in the political rift in Lebanon. Um, and so we will have two very big gatherings tomorrow in Lebanon, which might add to tension internally. But we also have to wait and see what Hezbollah then will say um, about uh, the death and the work of Ahmad Mughaniya, who, who they say is a, is a top military um, uh, chief um, among them. Okay, of course, we will continue to watch this story. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. You're very welcome. Thank you.